There's in love, and then there's out of love. There's falling in love, and there's also falling out of love. The weird part about this popular statement is that love, or I should say true love, has no opposite. Unlike sadness versus happiness, or madness versus feeling content and so on, love is the only energy that happens to have no opposite. It just is. You see, the love that most people are speaking of, uh, that most people are singing about or writing books about is a temporary substitution uh, created by the imagination of the egoic mind. This version of love requires stuff. It requires things. It wants. It needs. This love controls. This love has rules and conditions that have to be met so that it can feel in love. You see, egoic love creates an illusory view of another, a projection of who we think someone else is. And we work to see, uh, to see the other as this or to see the other as that. And if they live up to the image or the expectation that we have in our minds, then the ego will reward us with this warm and fuzzy feeling that most refer to as love. If not, an opposite feeling is experienced. And that feeling is described by a variety of adjectives. Just pick one. So what is true love? Love simply is what you are. Minus the egoic mind, that is. Love is your essence, our essence. We can feel it. We can sense it when we share it. In other words, if you can look upon another with a clean mind, if you can see yourself in another to the degree that the other's otherness disappears, if you can see beyond the ego's judgments, the ego's preconceptions, if you can release the need to control when you can simply be and let be, there is love. Love is not something that you can see. It's beyond understanding because it's the essence of what you are. And you can only see, you can only know what you are not. You can never know what you are because you are what you are. True love simply has no opposite. The word like is a more appropriate description of what most people are talking about. For instance, I have an intense like for you, which could change. Do you like me intensely, at least for now? You see, like always has reasons linked to it. I like you because that's why I like you. The ego substitutes like for love which is a level confusion. Love never ends. Love never stops growing because love is life. Love is. It just is.